All right, everybody, you already know what time it is. We are in space, and today I'm going to be making my very own space custom missiles. I know, cool, right? And I'm going to be utilizing the zero gravity we have in this new space sector map. And essentially, I just want to launch some kind of missile slash rocket forward as accurate as I can and hit a target. That's what I'm going to be trying to do today. And of course, to do that, we're going to be using the brand new quantum rudders. So these kind of act like um, vertical stabilizers in space. So they're going to keep the rocket slash missile going forward. And I'm not sure if I want to build it like this size, like a two by one size or a two by four. Maybe a 2x4. Alright, let's get building our rockets. So we already have the quantum rudders in place. And we also have space thrusters now. Which I need to attach somehow because there's only attachment points on the back of this thing. Which is fine, we can work with that. Grab myself a 1x2 block, I think. And then obviously go for the flat connector play. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Nice. Let's get our dynamite ready, which we can find in the weapons tab. Okay, there we go. Now, do we need gyros in this thing? Do I need stabilizing gyros? Because they would really actually help a lot to keep the missile straight, right? But the only problem is, if I add a gyro stabilizer, I will only be able to shoot horizontally. So I do not actually want to add them right now. What else do we need? We need some logic. And that's pretty much everything. We can make this thing look kind of pretty now. So let's just add a cone on the front. Okay, there you go. A pretty nice simple rocket so far. Let's just connect everything up. So we want to put this distance sensor on this space thruster really quick. So we can do some testing. I'm not sure if we need to add them to the quantum rudders. That's pretty much it, right? It's all I need to connect. Off it goes! That's actually really powerful for ro one rocket. And I love that I can see where it goes with a trail. Let me try and launch it into the space station here. Sorry, Turpos. Oh, I just need to aim myself a little better, I guess. There we go. So that's a very straight trajectory. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh my god. This is such a cool concept. Oh my god. That That is too cool. I could do that all day. But we do need to, uh, like, fully get this working. We need to stick it to a vehicle, too. That's already really practical. So I'm very happy with this. Let's give it a quick paint job. But right, I'm thinking going with like a gray and purple aesthetic because I will show you the reason why very soon, guys. Let's get a, a neon cone going on here for our rocket. We also have these new neon textures. Okay, yeah, that looks way cooler. Okay, here it is. This is our paint job. Very cool indeed. So the purple and gray, like I said. And let's give it a quick save because I want to show you the aircraft I will be sticking that rocket to. Here it is. It is a sci-fi inspired modified space variant of the F-22 Raptor. This is probably the second most coolest build I've ever made. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, just look at this thing fly. I got my lasers on here. I spent like a good hour making this one. So cool. I got the dragon jets inside for extra speed. We got a bomb bay going on, even though it's not that effective. And also an EMP launcher, of course. We have to. So this thing is a beast. It's so beautiful. But we're going to be using this spaceship today for our rocket purposes. So we can just kind of stick them to the wings, I'm feeling, guys. All right, I just made a hole in the wing. Reason is, I want to get my detachable block kind of closer to the wing, but still have that one gap so there's no hitbox issues. So if I do this and then add a sheet on top of it, I'm thinking just like this to kind of just cover the hole and make sure that's connected. And I just need to move my rocket forward. Oh no, it could be right down. I'm not sure what that's connected to right now. Oh, okay. There we go. It's on. All right, let me just paint up this shield piece to the right gray. I love that we have so many different colors now. Look at that, guys. So there's one rocket. Just gonna do some configuration, guys. And then I can stick another one on the other side. Okay, so that needs to go into this. This doesn't need to be attached to that. And then this AND gate. Let's say right on the D-pad for this. Toggle. And that's connected to the space thrusters. And then for this detachable block, we want to delay it by a little bit. And then go for the right on the D-pad play. Let's just give that a quick test. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice okay so that's one rocket down and that's the second rocket installed okay so we have both rockets let's give it a test that's the left that's the right oh my god 
It's just so nice. It's so cool. Are they faster than me? No, I can probably catch up to them. But damn, they're still going like above 250 miles per hour with one rocket. That just shows how much momentum you can like gain in space. Wow, I could just fly alongside them. Here, I want to shoot them. Woo, there you go. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's uh, EMP this other rocket. Oh, I think I missed. Let me get a little closer. Right, here we go. EMP. I'm just making a single player mini game. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, there's also one thing I want to show you guys as well before we continue with the rockets. Let me just head out into like deep, deep, deep space. Okay, this might take a little while actually. Uh, this map is so big. Okay. All right. So we're on the very, very edge of the map now, as you can see, there you go. So if you just keep a, keep an eye on the planets behind me, I'm gonna keep my camera faced on the planets. And once we hit the edge, so this one, that big yellow one is Duna, and this red one is Mycoterra. So just keep an eye on the positioning of the planets really quick. Here we go, here we go, any second now. Oh, there you go, see that? They disappeared. Right? And now they are in front of me. So I have just teleported from one side to the other because it's like infinite space, right? That's a really good way of uh, doing that for this map. So theoretically, if you had a fast enough aircraft or spacecraft, sorry, you could keep your momentum and just, just keep going as fast as you can. I know one of you guys is gonna do that. All right, okay, let's repair. I got my missiles back. My space missiles. I don't know whether to call them space rockets or space missiles. Missiles usually chase things. So uh, maybe just rockets. <laughs> this is perfect too because we're pulling up to Hull Room, the hostile pirate planet. I'm pretty sure I have enemies on. I don't know. I can't remember. I might be on peaceful mode. Oh wait, Hull Room is not the bad planet. <laughs> That's the bad planet. Hull Room is the big meteor. Oh! I just found a uh, major flaw in my system here. I still have all my controls on my dynamite. Let's just get rid of those really quick. All right, that's better. Oh my God. <laughs> that's another problem. My C controls are like, I still control these quantum rudders, which I kind of don't want to do right now. That's too much. This is great guys. This is fine. It's trial and error. All right, let's just get used to these controls oh my god i think there's so much propulsion going on everything's looking good let's see if we can do some damage on this asteroid oh what what happened there might have to just up the sensitivity of my stabilizers really quick really guys one second okay you see this tiny asteroid in front of me well it's not tiny it's quite big actually we're gonna try and hit it i think i'm too close though hey, i'm way too close so yeah let me stand back okay here we go three two one launch oh my god do you hear the sound when it activates that like rocket it's like a oh my god oh i could do this all day okay let's launch that one i'm a little bit damaged here yeah, if i just go into build mode i can instantly repair nice so cool oh my god i just love how they just perfectly stay forward should i build a target really quick guys like my own target or should i just spawn in one of my other spacecrafts i think i'm gonna spawn in one of my other spacecrafts to do some testing here all right let's just hop out of this build let's leave that there look how cool these asteroids are they're moving okay all right there we go. let's that's a perfect position i don't need to go any further all right Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this blue spaceship here. And let's hop back into this one. So I see the target, but I kind of want to aim myself a little better. Can I aim up? Okay, no. My stabilizers are stopping me from aiming up too much, like very delicately. All right, okay. This is just going to have to do, guys. Let's see if we're close. Okay, no. Too far to the left. Okay, we're going too close. Whoa. <laughs> Repair. Fire. Oh. Oh, no. Something happened there. Okay, we are getting close. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, 
All right, I know what to do. We are going to turn off our auto aim scale for this EMP. So that white crosshair is pretty much where I'm looking. Just need to try and get a little higher. There we go. Launch. Okay, no, that went above the target. So I don't even need to aim that high. Here we go, rocket. Oh, it hit, it hit. It didn't explode. I think I'm too close for it to explode. Did some damage though. Okay, repair. I want to get this to explode. Now, I don't think these rockets will be effective against other, like, small starfighter spacecrafts. But maybe a big cruiser. Maybe you could take down a big cruiser with these. They're definitely great against, like, ground targets, I think. Okay, let's try and do this quick before my other spaceship gets hit by a rock. Okay, fire! Too low, too low. Ooh. Need to get used to this, guys. Need to get used to this. I think when I hit the spacecraft, too, with the other rocket that didn't explode, it's kind of... Oh! Oh! What is going on? I just got hit by an asteroid. No way. Oh, no. The other ship is moving. Okay, we have a moving target. We actually have a freaking moving target now. I'm just trying to line myself up here. Oh, it might be going a bit too fast for me to actually hit it, you know, guys. Just gonna do some slight adjustments to my quantum rudders. All right, launch. Launch. Where are they? There they are. Nope. <laughs> I've lost the spaceship. Where's the other spaceship gone? Oh my God. I'm lost in space. All right, I think I'm just gonna have to spawn a new one, guys. Okay. That's kind of perfect, actually. I spawned it right in front of me. Okay. Oh, why does it have to be in the sun? Okay, you know what? This is fine. Three, two, one. Launch. Oh, slightly under. Let me aim a little higher. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, I need a bigger target. All right, we are like dead eye close to this thing. Surely I can hit it from here. Nope. Oh, what are you kidding me? That was like right on it. Oh my god. I, I'm just one, please. One hit. <laughs> Maybe I need to add like a distance sensor on the on the missile. All right, this is it's okay. Okay, we don't need to test it on my other spaceship. Clearly, it's not working as well as as I would like it to. But we are going to go to Nasu because I feel like I can do damage here. Is there any enemies around? Hello? Oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we do have a bit of gravity though, so my rockets will kind of drop to the planet surface. As long as we do a little bit of damage here, we should be fine. Okay, three, two, one. Let's see how much the gravity affects them. Not too much, actually. They still have a pretty decent trajectory. Okay, yo, guys, chill. Chill out. I just want to hit one of these turrets. Oh! Dude! kamikaze me. Here we go. Launch, launch, launch. Get out of there! Oh, so close. Okay. That's not... <laughs> oh, the EMPs. Get out of here quick. Okay, let's not get hit by one of these EMPs. Rockets away. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh. Yes. Yes, we actually hit something. <laughs> we took out one of those shield generators. Okay, I am happy. There we go. We get to leave now. Man, I felt like Luke Skywalker right there. Well, guys, let me know what you think about my uh, space rocket invention. There's so many, like, new types of payloads we can do. So I'm thinking, like, maybe next time, actually try and do something that kind of gravitates or uses distance sensors to try and follow another spacecraft, like a space mine or a space torpedo. I think that's a really good idea. But let's just hit this asteroid really quick. The last one. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Not as easy to aim, but definitely against bigger targets. I think you'll do a lot of damage. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Kind of just me messing around in zero gravity again. Testing out these really cool spaceships that I've been making lately. And if you joined it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.